20 years ago, 2,977 people lost their lives in the deadliest terror attack in world history, an attack that happened right here on American soil. I'm Laura McKenna. Today we are remembering 9-11 and the American soldier, presented by USAA. All around the country, there are beautiful memorials to the victims of 9-11, like this one behind me. At the United States Military Academy, there stands a monument to the American soldier. In the two decades since that fateful day, there have been hundreds of thousands of soldiers in the fight, and more than 7,000 servicemen and women who have given their lives in the war on terror. The world changed forever on September 11, 2001. One place that felt that change immediately and dramatically was West Point. A lot of changes, certainly from a security standpoint, it was almost all hands on deck. It didn't matter who you were, um, you were going to have a role in the larger security mission that West Point was going to put into effect. And so uh, that meant instructors, right, guarding the gate. This went from being sort of a national park open campus to, right, a, a restricted installation. Uh, we're the last class to come in prior to September 11th, so we had just completed Beast Barracks or Cadet Basic Training and we're a couple of weeks into the academic year on 9-11. Um, and there's a palpable shift in the feeling on the academy. And I can vividly remember coming home and uh, there's the Dean of the Academic Board, right? General Kaufman is checking IDs at the gate as you're coming back onto the installation. So again, it was all hands on deck, right? Everybody had a role in the larger mission of sort of securing and protecting this great place. Going from September 10th, where we were just, you know, new cadets or freshmen trying to figure out, you know, our role um, in college and at a military academy, to shift into September 11th, um, we thought maybe that we were going to go to war sooner rather than later. I know for our, some of our classmates, they were considering, you know, do I resign from the academy and immediately enlist and, and go? I know some of our prior enlisted uh, classmates were definitely. Uh, had a lot of feelings about that because a lot of their friends who were still serving in the units that they had recently left before they came to the academy were gearing up and getting ready to go to war. From where I was as a, as a cadet uh, on September 11th, I had an opportunity to have friends who graduated. I had a brother who was mobilized and deployed to Iraq. So we had siblings and friends that we knew that were now out there and they were starting a second rotation. So we knew full well that this was a marathon, this wasn't going to be a sprint, and we had to be mentally prepared for that. In fact, when General William Lennox, the Academy's superintendent at the time, heard that there were growing numbers of cadets who wanted to leave early to get into the fight, he addressed the Corps of Cadets preaching tactical patience and that they would soon be needed as leaders and officers. In the weeks after September 11th, I think the messaging that we heard from our leadership was very consistent with what we heard from like even the president. They emphasized the importance of the Academy's mission to build leaders of character for our nation and to um, be ready to deploy, but not to lose sight on, you came here for a reason, now you know, but you need to focus on what you're doing. But when September 11th happened, it was almost like we all had to grow up much, much faster because the mission that we were sort of about to embark upon was, that much more real. I graduated West Point in June 2001. I was at my military police officer basic course on the day of the attacks. We were at a Mark 19 range and they shut down the range and my classmates and I watched in horror as the day's events unfolded. Our emotions ranged from incredulous to angry to sad to ready to do what we'd been trained to do in defense of our nation. Those of us who were already in the Army or at West Point at the time made the decision to serve while our nation was not at war. But thousands made the decision to serve after the fact with full knowledge of what was ahead. So I was a senior in high school when 9-11 happened and in the days that followed me and I, honestly most of my friends uh, went and enlisted in the Army. Like there was this perception that no, there's a line somewhere and this is ours. Uh, and so we were gonna go do something about it. After enlisting and seeing what the military was like, it seemed like an organization where I fit. I felt like I fit in for probably one of the first times in my life. Gebhardt, 
a native of New Hampshire, served three years as an enlisted soldier, including time in Iraq, before attending the United States Military Academy Prep School and then West Point. He says the opportunity to play a bigger role and be in a leadership position was what drove him to this great institution. The challenge was that as I'm coming through the academy, and this is the same for a lot of combat veterans that came here at that time, our units, our friends, are going back to Iraq and Afghanistan over and over again. And uh, the feeling of abandonment of your people uh, was very hard um, for a lot of us. You come to West Point for different reasons, but everybody stays at West Point for the same reason, right? And that's to lead the men and women who are going to be in your units out in the United States Army. And so for us, the evening news made it clear to us, right? Those service members that you were seeing on the evening news on a nightly basis, those were gonna be the people who were entrusted to your care. That's why you were staying at West Point. I think that the conversation about whether or not you leave because of the war, most of us in my generation came because of it, not in spite of it. Like, no, after deploying, I did not think about leaving. I thought about going back and doing it again. The feeling that you had post 9-11, it's not gonna go away. And so, on this 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks, we rightly honor all of the innocent lives that were lost that day. But we never forget the brave men and women who answered the call to service, many of whom never returned home. I'm Laura McKenna, remembering 9-11 and the American soldier, presented by USAA.